Hello and welcome to today's lab. Within your VCL session, navigate to the Government 300 course webpage. Along the left-hand menu, choose Data, and select the NES 2008 data set, and choose Open, and that will open up a session of SPSS. Today we're going to talk about creating graphics in SPSS for univariate data. Creating appropriate graphics is a very important step in the research process. Appropriate graphics assist in providing a clear and compelling picture of your data. The most important rule is that the level of measurement determines what type of graphic is appropriate to use. So let's get started. First, for nominal data, a pie chart is the appropriate graph because it contains no rank or order to the categories. Rather, a pie chart simply depicts the proportion of each category as slices in a pie. Let's look at the nominal variable of region organized in a pie chart. In the NAS dataset, go to Graphs, click on Legacy Dialogues, and then click on Pie. And make sure that Summaries for Groups of Cases is selected, click Define, and then organize your variables by name, and navigate down to our variable, which is just called Region. Select that into the Define Slices by pane. And then under the Slices Represent window, we're going to choose Percentage of Cases rather than Number of Cases. And then we're going to click on the Titles button. And here we're going to input a title and a source for our graphic. So in this case, we're going to title it Region, and the source is going to be the NES 2008 dataset. Click Continue, and click OK. Once your graphic shows up in the output screen, double-click on the graph to bring up the Chart Editor. In the Chart Editor, you can edit your graphic in several ways. So we'll go ahead and double click on our graphic. And that brings up the chart editor. Now the first function in the chart editor is the data label mode. So if you click on this button in the left here, you can assign the percentages to each slice in the pie. So click on each slice in the pie and you can define the proportion in that particular slice. Additionally, to get a better sense for the variation between the sizes of the slices here, you can opt to explode the slices. So click on Explode Slice. And you get a better picture of the differences between the slices here. Now within the chart editor, you can also add a title and a source as well. We've already done that. All right, so close out of that window. Now let's generate a graphic for an ordinal variable. A bar chart is the appropriate way to display an ordinal level variable because it, it's presentation of discrete ordered categories. Minimize the output here. And within SPSS, click on Graphs. Go down to Legacy Dialogues and we're going to choose bar. Make sure simple is selected. Click define, and then organize your variable names here. All right, and select a variable called relig attend. This is an ordinal variable of religious attendance. All right, here it is, select it, and you're gonna place that into the category axis. And similar to the pie chart, we're going to opt for percentage of cases under the bars represent panel here. And then we'll also add a title and a source. So religious attendance. And the source is NES 2008. Click continue. And click OK. Again, double-click on the graph in the output window to open the Chart Editor. 
Here you can add titles, add sources, data values, etc. And we'll go ahead and add the values to each one of these bins. So when you're looking at these bins, if two bins are visually seem to be very equal, adding the percentage to the bins will allow you to compare more appropriately. All right, so click out of this chart editor. Now let's build a histogram with an interval ratio variable. Go to Graphs, Legacy Dialogues, go down to Histogram, and organize your variables. And select the variable called Spend10. Place that into the variable pane. And we're going to give it a title, Increase in Spending. And a footnote of the source, NES 2008. And click OK. All right, notice there's no space between bins because a histogram displays continuous data, so it is appropriate for interval and ratio variables, whereas a bar chart, the graphic we produced just a minute ago, is appropriate for ordinal because of showing discrete categories. So it contains spaces between each of the bins here. All right, to review, your level of measurement determines what graphic is appropriate. Nominal data should be displayed in a pie chart. Ordinal data should be displayed using a bar chart. And interval data and ratio data should be displayed using a histogram. Well done, students. Next week, we're going to move on to theoretical probability. We'll see you soon.